Well, folks, it is Friday, October 6th, and we could be talking about how Detective Pikachu Returns came out today, and some of you guys are going to pick it up or maybe had some midnight launches for that, and I hope you guys have a really good time with it. But we're actually going to be talking about Nintendo Switch 2, no surprise, but that's because a major rumor has hit the internet from what seems to be a fairly reliable source. We're going to dive into the context of all of this and why it's worth paying attention to, but as always, take things with a grain of salt, keep your skepticism up, but this does fall in line with some stuff we've maybe had hinted at before, but we weren't really sure, or at least conversations that we've had about the Nintendo Switch 2. Now, before I dive into these rumors and really, oh man, we got release dates, we got multiple models, we got, oh man, this is crazy. We have price points. This, I, I, I literally can't believe what this is, and it's making me get stupidly excited for what is to come. That being said, before we dive in, I want to remind you we're on the road to 150,000 subscribers, so I'd appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, drop a like, and why not hit that bell icon to be notified of all future videos. All right, so where do we get this from? Well, it technically comes from a Discord server for a leaker known as The Snitch. Now, if you don't know who The Snitch is, he is someone who has put out a ton of gaming leaks across the gaming spectrum over the last couple of years. He's basically retired at this point, but he created a Discord community for people to come together and talk about the leaks. I'm actually on that Discord, but so I don't have to dig through everything, thankfully somebody over at Reset Era gathered all the information together. Now, this person, and I'm gonna tell you who they are in a moment, is someone who the reason people are paying attention to is they have been someone who has provided information to the snitch who leaked it in the past that was correct. So this was one of the people that the snitch was getting their information from. And again, all that information proved to be accurate. And while this person is saying to treat this like a rumor, he's not saying that I know this for a fact, he says nothing has happened to deconfirm any of the stuff he has heard from his source. So I'm just throwing that out there, where this is coming from, why people are giving it credence. It's all related to the snitch. If you don't know anything about that, it's okay. There's a bunch of information out there on the snitch leaks from the past if you wanna go look it up. So who is this person? Well, this person is called Soldier Delta. And again, was one of the sources the snitch was using to leak game stuff before. And he decided to post some stuff and add clarifications when questions were asked. So what did he say? Okay, lads, I heard you all like rumors. I've got some details for you. However, I want to preface this, that this is something that I've heard, that this is information that I've heard from a good friend who is my Mr. Anonymous source. The Switch 2 has an intended release date of September, 2024. However, there's also a placeholder for early November. The internal name is NG. However, we don't know about the final name. There are two intended models, one being a standard model for $449 with a digital option for $400, or as you would say, $399.99. He says, this is all I have for now. But he obviously adds clarifications. He was asked questions. I, had, I did get some clarification. Yeah, it's September 24th of 2024. So an exact release date on that. Now, there are some things that he wanted to throw in. Uh, for starters, what this all could mean. So he wanted to chase up on the NG point. So he asked his, his friend, hey, the NG thing sounds a little weird that that would be a code name or something. So what is going on? So Nintendo is jumping to two SKUs. And he thinks that this was actually what was confusing about backwards compatibility rumors being affected by this. Because you know what? Hey, what, what, what do you expect, guys? Like... If there's a digital version, that's not gonna have physical backwards compatibility, but the physical version would, and depending on if you have a dev kit that doesn't take physical cards, could determine if you're gonna have that backwards compatibility. So I find that to be quite interesting. And also, I, we don't know which model is the more expensive one. Is the 449 an all digital model, but it has a way more storage, or is that the model with the physical, like PlayStation did, and then the cheaper one is the one that's all digital. Again, we, we don't have clarification on which one is which, but apparently Nintendo wants to go with a high-end and entry-level system. So take that for what you will. To me, that means probably the all digital is the cheaper version. 
Now, as for the release date, the Gamescom demo that happened in August was to gauge third-party interest, and it says a lot to me about what Nintendo wants out of third parties. Again, this is all coming from this guy. So giving them around a year to test the system's hardware and get launch titles ready makes sense to me. Further, while I've got doubts about the release date itself, that's something that's always to be concerned about when you get an exact day this soon, the Switch 1's release date was 3-3-17. The Switch 2's is allegedly 24-9-24. They do their dates differently out in uh, across the pond. Anyways, with the time span given, that seems like a memorable enough date for a launch date. It also still allows a five-month window from reveal to release in, say, April or May. The placeholder date. I fully get people's concerns behind this, and it was the only real red flag I had looking at the information provided. For me, the November date could be like, uh, hey, if things don't go to plan and we have to delay the launch a little bit, we can move it back a couple months and we already have another day for it. That being said, I'm not fully convinced by this, and this is the only part of the rumor that made me raise my eyebrow, which, again, makes sense because having an exact day right now when it's you know a year out is a little weird. Having a month, sure, an exact day, who knows? Maybe they just want, you know, 9, 24, 24. It is something easy to remember long haul. Sort of like 3, 3, 17. So I, I, I sort of get it. And he said, as I've said, this is a rumor that I heard and posted. If you don't believe it or find holes in it, I'm inclined to just believe you all. But for now, because I don't see anything that you could deconfirm in any of this, I'm going to keep this leak in mind when looking at Switch 2 information moving forward. He also wanted to add an update. He said, an update on the Switch 2 rumor and that it's a rumor I heard, you all know the drill. So there's a few clarifications. First off, the NG code name, of which I've been told it's not really the code name from Nintendo. Like it's not what Nintendo is calling it internally. It just seems to be what they've told developers to refer to it as. So it, yeah, so this still sort of means that it's a code name. It's just not like the official internal, code, like NX, right? NX was an official internal code name that Nintendo told us about. NG is not the official code name of the system it's just a way to reference it when talking to fellow developers now that being said uh he, he does apologize for the small miscommunication on that second he did get reaffirmation of the details on the SKU. however they mentioned that the price point could obviously be subject to change in case anything happens economy reasons etc so it's just like that's their target prices but obviously things could adjust before launch it just sort of Sort of depends on where what's happening in the world and what's happening with the ability to you know accrue parts and Things get more expensive, less expensive, etc. Now, the release date was also reaffirmed with a target of September 24th next year. But I was also told the November fallback release date is the 3rd of November in case something goes wrong. Finally, my source reaffirmed the existence of AR features and that it doesn't seem to have an OLED screen. So look, we already heard about the 8-inch LCD, so not really surprising to hear about the OLED part. Again, these are rumors. Take them with a grain of salt, but we're going to obviously have a conversation here as if this stuff is real. The big thing is those AR features. That to me confirms there is a camera and that might be the big feature add to this system. Like we talked about how, what could they add to this? And you know, what's gonna be that Nintendo thing? What's gonna be crazy? They're gonna add a camera. So we have AR features, which AR is something Nintendo has played around. AR is something very popular with phone apps right now. It is something that a lot of people today are much more comfortable with than the last time Nintendo dabbled in AR with the Nintendo 3DS. So I'm actually really excited to see what sort of AR features, AR games, or whatever they come up with to use here. And I do think a AR camera or a camera intended to be used for AR is something that's going to see a much grander use case than you know, a, a lot of other features that could actually be added. Like, remember they added the whole, uh, you know, the, the little IR camera on the Joy-Con. And look, I mean, let's just be honest, it barely got used. This is something I actually think some developers, not all of them, but some will actually take advantage of. And Nintendo themselves will likely have some smaller applications that will take advantage of it as well. It's certainly going to be more useful than what they tried to do with Nintendo Labo, made out of cardboard, couldn't even strap it to your head. Yeah, I know. So... What does this all mean? Well, it, it's really fascinating to think about a two SKU future where one's an all digital and one includes a physical card slot. I'm not really surprised. No, I want to sit here and say, oh, I'm really surprised that there's going to be two SKUs. But I'm not, well, Nintendo did this with Wii U, but that was for different sizes, right? You know, you had your eight gigabyte and your 32 gigabyte internal storage. I don't know if there's going to be storage differences. I think the price differences clearly have to do with adding a physical cartridge slot. I do think that the more expensive model will be the one where 
you get your physical games and your digital games, and the cheaper one will just be all digital. I just have a feeling they're going to repeat what Sony did. Uh, you know, it's not going to be like different powers and different specs like that. Like, oh, you know, like the Xbox Series X and S. It's going to be the same power, just all digital or not. And that is fascinating to me. We've had hints of this. Uh, that there might be a two model thing going on. At least I've heard hints of this sort of behind the scenes, but I didn't really know what to make of it. And so having this now come forward, having that September target release, it does give us a good idea of when they might unveil this. I just recently said on the podcast that I'm start I wanted to ask like, Andres we start, hey, like what do you think about April? And now April kind of makes sense for them to possibly announce it if it's going to be coming in September. Of course, they could announce it sooner and give us a longer lead up time. That's obviously going to be up to Nintendo. And maybe they feel like they might need a longer lead up time because they want to make sure that the market is ready to accept an all digital uh, Nintendo Switch shoe and a, you know, get them used to the idea that there's a $50 price difference with two SKUs at launch and what SKU are you going to get and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know, guys. All I do to is. This, to me, is wildly exciting. This is something that I did not expect today. Again, I don't control the rumor mill. This stuff literally popped up this morning. This isn't something that was, oh, I'm just sitting on this and banking it for a rainy day. No, 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 no. So you guys let me know what you think about the Nintendo Switch 2. All these details, well, potential details anyways, down in the comments below. I'm glad to be your number one source for Nintendo Switch 2 news on the internet, and I'll catch you in the next video.